Welcome to the Enigma Cold War server. Before we start up this fine Swedish aircraft, I think we should go over some things worth knowing on this server. If you are like me and regularly crash into mountain sites because you take nice screenshots of your aircraft from every possible angle, I have some good news for you. The server admin, somewhat miffed with me posing with his burning MiG-19 wreckage, decided to disable this feature. Cockpit view only, if you please. And if you relied on padlock, well, it's even more good news. You will learn to do without it. This choice was made for you. The first thing you should do is contact the Overlord. I enjoy the sight of humans on their knees. No, AI has not taken over the world yet, but they are very much in control of this one. Overlord Bot will help you with ATC duties, such as not recognizing your chosen call sign. Most likely because you did not read the frequently asked questions document and went into battle named something that I cannot mention here because then YouTube will take down this video for obscene language. So after you have switched your call sign to something that you can say and more even importantly something that you can pronounce in such a way that Overlord AI can understand it, it's time to get into the action. So release the wheel brakes and get into the action! You're on the wrong channel, go channel 253 for Overlord bot. Let's try that again, shall we? A useful command once airborne is to put the Overlord AI to set up a tripwire for you. Usually this should be around 10 miles, because otherwise you and every body else on Freak are going to be spammed to deafness about that hind flying around your general vicinity. And that's not gonna be fun for anyone. Just now that the tripwire is set up, it's time to have a look at the map. The server is divided in two areas. Friendly and enemy. For me, Red 4 will always be the enemy, so it helps if any Red 4 pilots among our viewers also identify as such. The general idea is to make the poor bastard have to run the startup procedure again, as well as blow up any tanks, vehicles, anti aircraft sites, and so on. Sometimes there will be duels below the tree lines as MiGs try to imitate the glory of the Vigan, but. Go poor! Set him! If you are very unlucky, they will, however, blow you up first. But remember, it's never because they are better than you that they win. It's only because whatever excuse you can make up. Now you know the basics of the server. Honestly, it's not more difficult than that. What will be difficult is your opponents. They are tricky people who most likely possess some kind of dark magic for being able to fly the abomination known as the MiG-21, and they do like to gang up on you. So I hope I made my introductions to how to get started on Enigma's Cold War server. After an hour or two you will know everything that I do, and after five hours you will return to this video to tell me everything I got wrong or missed out on or should have mentioned, or that you really wanted to know and I didn't tell you. And after 10, you have most likely shot me down so many times you forgot who I am anymore. So, see you in the skies of Enigma Cold War Pilot. Oh, and... Well... There's one more thing. Actually, it's the one that is important and the only one that matters. Good luck, have fun.